Hey everyone, so in today's video we are making something I love and that is cold brew. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and follow me on Instagram for lots of giveaways and healthy living inspiration. So I'm starting off with some whole coffee beans and I like to grind my beans fresh. I find this really makes a difference in the cold brew and I do a 58 on mine, which is a very coarse grind and I measure out 140 grams of that. And this will all be down in the description box below in case you miss it. So I find this really makes a big difference when you're making cold brew to have some nice fresh beans. And then I'm gonna add in some water into the top of my French press, like until the level of the top, which is about a liter. I'll also leave a cheap coffee grinder in case you guys don't have one down in the description box, along with the French press and everything else that I use. I stir that up with a spoon to kind of get it combined. And then we are going to be putting some plastic wrap over the top just to help seal in everything. You don't wanna like put the thing down through the French press yet, you want it to brew. So we're just gonna use saran wrap over the top and make sure you get a nice cold seal on it. And then we're going to be popping that in the fridge and after about 12 to 16 hours, you will have your magical cold brew and through the magic of YouTube, I had this one ready to go for this video. So I'm stirring it up with the spoon again, just because you'll notice that the coffee grounds get kind of solid at the top. So just kind of mixing that together one final time and then pushing down the top of it. So the first recipe I like to make with this cold brew concentrate is this coconut one. So we're taking half a cup of our cold brew concentrate and mixing that with one cup of coconut water. And coconut water is great because it has loads of potassium, loads of electrolytes, and it's naturally sweetened from the coconuts with no added sugar. So it makes it slightly sweet, which tastes amazing. And it's great for like a post-workout or even a morning to replenish those electrolytes or if it's just a really, really hot day where you live, this is perfect and it's super yummy with a little bit of sweetness. Next up, we're making a maca mocha cold brew. So I'm starting again with half a cup of our cold brew concentrate. And this concentrate will keep for like seven days in the fridge. So you can make a big batch of it. A heaping tablespoon of cocoa powder, which is just cocoa powder, no sugar or anything in there. And then a teaspoon of maca, which helps regulate your hormones, but also gives you an energy boost, which is great in the coffee. You know, you get an extra little zing, especially in the morning. And then I'm putting in a teaspoon of coconut sugar you can omit this but I wanted to show a healthier less refined sugar that you can use in this which is coconut sugar a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then my favorite almond milk guys Khalifa farms is where it's at this stuff tastes amazing in coffee it also frosts well and then I'm using this little handheld frother you can use a blender but I got this frother for ten dollars and it frosts the milk without having to like dirty a blender I love it it will be linked down below. And there you have your maca mocha cold brew. It's chocolatey, it's yummy, it's cold brew, it's delicious. And lastly, we're making this vanilla mint cold brew. Super refreshing for the summertime. So I'm using half a cup, again, of our cold brew concentrate. You guys know the drill by now. And then I'm adding in, once again, the Khalifa Farms. It's just the best tasting almond milk that I can put with coffee. Do you find that other almond milks taste like cardboard sometimes? I feel like that happens in coffee, but anyways, this one tastes really good. A little bit of vanilla, frothing that up, and then adding in a few mint leaves. I do end up mushing them down with like a straw after, but for presentation, I wanted to keep them on the top. But it kind of gives just a little bit of peppermint flavor. It's refreshing in the summertime. It's so yummy, and look, it's really pretty too. So yeah, those are my recipes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you love cold brew, thumbs it up, because I love cold brew, as you can tell from this video. I hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.